Hi everyone, welcome to The Pit Stop. I'm your host, Raja, and I knew today when I woke up it was going to be a beautiful day because today I'm being joined by my bestie, Manila Luzon! <gasps> what? I'm your bestie? I'm only really just saying that because you're sitting here. I know, she says about everyone, right? <laughs> All right, so let's get right into this. Um, last week, we see Blair St. Clair go, I declare. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, is that how you feel about it? Young, talented queen with so much potential, but it's time to get to the... To the meat. Yes. To the meat. Get yes. rid of the riffraff. And she was all skin and bones. <laughs> and at the bottom two last week was uh, the Vixen with Blair Sinclair, and Vixen got to stay, obviously. And uh, how do we feel about that? She's an amazing performer. She's mm -hmm. got some great ideas. They're not always executed to the best. She thinks that the judges don't get her, that they misunderstand her style and, and the way she presents herself. She has that wall up, mm -hmm. and she's really not letting anyone get in inside with mm -hmm. her. So of course they're not gonna get her. Okay, clearly Vixen is frustrated and Eureka comes in to give her some helpful advice. I think it's quite helpful. She just kind of wants to dismiss her as if like, well, you don't know more than me. She's going to want to get to the finish line on her own accord. Mm -hmm. And if that means that she needs to fight one of the strongest competitors in there with her, then that's kind of how she's gonna have to do it. The mini challenge. This is always my favorite, and it was the reading challenge. Who did you think did the best? When Eureka came up there, and she was <laughs> like, I'm just gonna shut all these skinny bitches down and say, Okay, well, bring on your fat jokes. I'm expecting them. <laughs> there was a few moments in there that I thought was pretty strong. I thought Aquaria did really good. I thought that Cameron did really well, too. It didn't seem like anyone was being that particularly shady, and everyone was kind of having a good time. So Eureka wins the mini challenge. Um, she's doing really well. She sure is. She won two maxis previously, and very happy to see it happen because she did have a slow start. She's found her stride. Mm -hmm. She's on pace to win the damn thing. Mm -hmm. But like now, who else is playing catch up? Yeah. So the maxi challenge is the snatch game. Okay, so the girls are now all choosing their celebrities that they are going to use for snatch game, and the surprise guest was Bianca Del Rio, who infamously did her Judge Judy impression which was superb. I thought that she was very helpful yeah. with her critiques. Yeah. And she wasn't insulting people, that many people. <laughs> she did give a few uh, side eyes, though. Usually when she makes that face, usually means she needs more Pinot Grigio. <laughs> <laughs> Ten seasons, we've seen a few Snatch Games already. Um, you know, what is the secret to doing a really good Snatch Game? Finding a character. Mm hmm sticking with that character the entire time. So there's a lot of pressure. Uh, this is not a very easy challenge. And as Rue's going around the room, she's shooting them down. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, somebody... She's being very harsh, in fact, on some of them. She sure is. She's like, well, let me hear it. Oh, is that what you have? In fact, uh, Rue was speaking to Eureka, and she and Eureka says that she wanted to do Divine. She gave her her little like impression of Divine, and Rue's like, what else you got? Oh yeah. What now about, can you do divine? What about that one? <laughs> and I'm so glad that she she kind of coaxed her and talked her out of doing divine because Eureka's Honey Boo Boo was a success in my opinion. Eureka has proven that she can go over the top. Yeah, she was definitely one of my favorites. Also strong on top for me was Aquaria as Melania Trump. Who knew she was going to do such an amazing job? <laughs> she had the blinking down, yeah. she had her face taped up. Mm -hmm. And I knew that this bitch was gonna do a good job, Miss Mona Ashange, as Maya Angelou. Yes, that was pretty funny. I mean, an affected voice is always fun to like <laughs> see, because you can really like go into it, and she, she really did it. Let's talk about the unfunny moments for us. <sighs> Let's start with Asia as Beyonce. My advice to queens is, if you want to do Beyonce, do Beyonce right and do Beyonce funny. A Beyonce wig and a sparkly outfit do not a Beyonce make. Vixen and Asia kind of started doing this little partnership where, you know, obviously Beyonce is mother and her and Vixen is Blue Ivy. How well do you think that worked out for them? It went terrible. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was terrible. I think they didn't know how to play it, so therefore they couldn't interact with one another. Yeah. Because they didn't know who they were. Yeah, it wasn't working. And last but not least, we gotta talk about Monique. Uh, Monique Hart as Maxine Waters. What'd mm. she do wrong? <laughs> Sh the, the, what she did the wrong? The look was good. The look, the look was, good. was on mm. point. Maxine Waters had a, a fun meme moment with the uh, taking back her time, but it's not enough reference 
to do an entire character right. on Snatch Game. Aquaria wins the entire maxi challenge. I'm very excited for her. Good for her. She did a great job. Her Melania Trump was excellent. Yes. All right, so it's runway time. Yes, God, this is always my favorite time. And I'm going to take this one very, very personally. Mermaid realness. And like full on mermaid. Like full on. you are gonna have the tail and you can't walk, so mm -hmm. we'll push you out in a wheelchair. Yes, a la Bette Midler. Yes. In her concerts. Who do you think did the best? Who was your favorite? Karen Michaels. It mm -hmm. was classic mermaid. And I really like that Karen Michaels really kind of goes for the hit the nail on the head, mm -hmm. you know, because it's such it's such a departure from her boy yeah. to this. The tail itself was my favorite, and that was what I was definitely looking at, was how beautiful their tails were. Like, Miss Cracker, for me, was beautiful from the waist up. From the tail down, I was just sort of like, oh, is that a piece of cardboard at the bottom? Hmm, yeah. I can see that's cardboard. My favorite was Aquaria. Yes. I seem to pick Aquaria a lot during the runway challenges because she really brings it. Well, she takes the theme, mm -hmm. then she'll take another idea and then put it on the theme, mm -hmm. and then she goes all the way with it. Right. Monet, mm -hmm. she kind of like, she did the mermaid look and then she kind of had the, the littered ocean moment. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't like full on litter moment. Oil slick. Yeah, and Aquaria did that. She took oil slick but made it fashion. <laughs> <laughs> My other favorite, now this is probably gonna be very controversial, but I actually love Asia's look. I that was my favorite, one of my favorite mermaid looks ever. If RuPaul can cover her face uh, during the <laughs> runway, I'm gonna cover my face and just have my mouth sticking out. Now, who were your least favorites? Monique. Mm-hmm. The nude illusion was just kind of meh with like the rhinestones. And then it just went bluntly into that fabric, which wasn't enough of scales. Mm -hmm. Also, I was very curious about the story that Monet Exchange had about her mermaid in an explosive mine and a gash in it. I feel like she could have lost the prop and then you would have like actually paid attention to the detail mm -hmm. in her outfit. It mm -hmm. was quite exquisite. She had these armor things on her arms, this breastplate, and then she added a little bit too much with the giant prop, which I thought was distracting, and then the littered with the things in her wig, I thought was a storyline that, you know, she didn't really commit to. Yeah, so during the judging, we see Monique really kind of get super defensive. I don't think you really should question the judges too much. Or maybe you should. What would you have done? Yeah, sometimes it, it's frustrating when you have to explain yourself. It's it's hard to fight the judges. Right. Like, don't do it. They're right. trying th to critique you and help you out for the next time. The girls are all asked who they think should go home first. And to me, this is like one of the, mo one of the hardest things to answer when you're standing up there. You can say how you feel. You can say what your strategy is for the game. Mm -hmm. Or you can just jump on the bandwagon with everyone wants to say the Vixen. You know what I mean? <laughs> the exchange that was happening between Vixen and Eureka. I see Eureka really trying to make an effort to build a friendship and to make peace. Whereas Vixen is not letting that go and continually wants to fight. And clearly everyone else on the stage wants her to go. Now everyone's like, okay, she's starting to show her weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And one of her weaknesses is that, mm -hmm. even though Eureka is making an effort mm -hmm. to smooth things over, mm -hmm. she's not accepting. Yeah. Now it's time for the lip sync for your life. And we have Vixen and Monique at the bottom. Someone wasn't prepared to be lip syncing tonight. Boop. And it was Miss Monique, darling. And Ooh, that was the first thing that we saw. The Why? first line out. She missed the first line. And then she broke the other rule. <laughs> Which RuPaul is? says, if you're going to take your wig off, you better have a wig underneath it. She was reaching. My favorite was that sad cartwheel. <laughs> <laughs> Vixen wins the lip sync, and she gets to stay. Vixen is a controversial character, but mm. I'm happy she's still around because mm -hmm. I just love seeing her get into fights. Me too. I love the drama. I love seeing her fighting her way to the top. Who do you think is the front runner um, as far as whoever's left from this uh, competition? I feel like in the last few episodes, we've seen Eureka shine. Mm -hmm. We're starting to see a lot more personality from Aquaria. So now the personality is starting to match the looks. I'm still waiting for more Cameron Michaels. Mm -hmm. This is the part where I really start to pay attention. Bitches better bring it. They better bring it. Mm -hmm. So I hope they were saving up their energy for the next few episodes, because it's going to be tough. Amen. Well, Manila, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Um, we have a bottle of white wine chilling for us. We do? Yes, I think so. You liar. It's a I'm box. I'm such a f 
supplier. It's a box. And I want to thank every single one of you for joining me today on The Pit Stop. We'll see you next week. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.